Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at Steam Later an open source Steam emulator for Android devices which is capable of running the original Steam PC version on your mobile devices not just that but it can also emulate Steam PC games directly on your Android device all the Steam games that are available in your library to get started Steam Later is an open source project made by Slicker Triple 2 on its official GitHub page as you can see which is based on Win Later Android Bionic 1.5.2 now let me break it down Steam Later is supported for Mali GPU Android devices, even unsupported Snapdragon Android devices as it has the wrapper graphics driver support. It even works on lowest of the low end Android devices with processors like Helio G99 and even Snapdragon 665. Now you guys can see some of the gameplay attached by the main developer of Steam Later Android which was recorded on a Snapdragon 665 processor on its official GitHub and the developer has also written some possible bugs and their fixes. The Steam Later was released about 3 weeks ago and you guys can see It is a Steam inbuilt into the emulator Android and the Steam launcher automatically runs once the emulator is started. Now it uses special launch arguments for maximum compatibility and verified with low end Android devices and the performance is pretty amazing. It uses Proton plus Box64 to run Windows applications and games. You can also use Wine. You can run the Steam servers online so even the multiplayer support is present. You can run online Steam games as well. So this is pretty amazing. With that being said, let's start setting up the emulator right away. I have already added the Steam later on my Android device. When you open it for the first time, it will start initializing itself just like the normal Win later Bionic C mode. So you'll need to wait for few seconds until the initialization is completed. Afterwards, you'll see an UI like this. To start off, you'll need to tap on these three lines, go to settings, and here, Box64 preset. Make sure to set it to performance. Afterwards, tap on the tick mark option. Once that has been done, tap on these three lines. Afterwards, tap on the add container. Now you'll create yourself a Steam container where uh just like the normal win later android you'll need to select the best settings for best performance so in terms of graphics driver you get trapper graphics driver which means support for mali gpu as well as unsupported snapdragon processor android devices in wrapper if you have a snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor or below then you can go with the turnip 25.1.0 for best performance and graphics quality but the device which i'm using in today's video is my realme gt7 pro with snapdragon 8 elite that's why we'll be going with wrapper graphics driver and in terms of DX wrapper will go with DX VK 1.10.3 it works absolutely amazingly in terms of audio driver will select pulse audio enable show fps enable full screen mode and in terms of video memory size set it to 4 gb you can also change the gpu name to whatever you want for example for today's video i'll go with gtx 1050 ti what a legendary gpu let's go to advanced settings here box 64 preset as well as version is selected by default so you don't really need to do anything here just tap on the tick mark option and your windows emulator container will be successfully created afterwards tap on the play button Now when you open it for the first time it might take some time depending on device to device if you have a low end device it will take some time to start the container but once the emulator has started you will see the steam launcher right here at first you can choose the language that you want the setup to be there are about four language in this uh, steam client launcher once that has been done all you have to do is simply tap on the launch button now when you tap on launch it will take around 1 to 2 minutes depending on your device to set up the steam client on your android device afterwards you'll need to restart your windows emulator so i have already tapped on launch steam i am just waiting don't tap on the launch game multiple times because trust me it is working in the background all you need to do is have some patience now guys as i had already set up my steam in a different container just to test out the simulator there was no pop up but basically you get a pop up saying that the setup is complete you will need to uh, close your container so there will be a small box white box you just need to tap on the exit button once that has been done you can launch the container once again to finally start running steam on your android devices afterwards simply tap on the launch steam button once again and your original pc steam will successfully start on your android device when you open it for the first time it will ask you to log in to your steam account you need to log in to your steam account afterwards as you can see our steam has successfully started i'll simply press the close button and there we go as you can see we are running original steam on our android devices and it has all the pc games like wreckfest 2 GTA 5 etc unlimited library of games and you can log into your main steam account 
to access your own games library. So here I'll go to the library section and I'll show you guys which Steam games that I actually have. You guys can check out the list right here. I have a lot of Steam games and not all of these games will actually work because these are very huge games. But if you do want me to test out games like Forza Horizon 4, Halo Infinite, Assetto Corsa, CS2 and much more then do let me know in the comment section down below. Let's hit 250 likes on this video and I'll make that possible. Now I have actually added 3 games on my Android device, Raji, Undertale as well as Unturned. So first of all let's try playing out Raji, this is a small game, it's not that big of a deal so let's see if it works, if it doesn't work then we'll move on towards the next 2 games that I have loaded on my Android device. So here we go, looks like Raji is about to boot, let's swipe back, go to task manager and here you guys can see, it says Raji game is about to boot and you need to make sure that our RAM is actually being used. Now currently the game is stuck at 1.23 GB of RAM and now it is increasing as you guys can see and the game just crashed unfortunately as you guys can see Raji game has forced up. So not all steam games will work as I mentioned before let's just go ahead and try out Unturned. This is another one of those steam games that you can play on your android device. Let's tap on the play button. Now sometimes you'll also get an error such as failure missing executable. To fix that what you'll need to do is simply right click afterwards go to the manage section then go to the browse section and here scroll down and run the unturned game or whatever game you're trying to play if you get that error message and here we go looks like our game is about to boot once again if it boots then that's good if it doesn't boot then it's because of the processor that i am using on my android device which is the snapdragon 8 elite because of my processor i can see black screens in games as the snapdragon 8 elite is not optimized for playing games you guys can see the ram usage of unturned is increasing by quite a lot about almost 3 gb of ram has been used but all we are seeing is a black screen and nothing else that's because the game has actually started but the graphics are not being rendered on my android device. There are games obviously whose graphics do render on my snapdragon 8 elite processor android device. Snapdragon 8 elite does not have a turnip graphics driver. That's why even though if your game starts you might see a black screen issue. So turnip graphics driver is highly recommended if you want to play pc games. But let's say if you want to try out another game all we'll do is scroll down. Turn off our game so I'll just go ahead and press the close button and there we go we are out of it. By the way let me show you guys how you can scroll through the steam uh, UI. You can use two fingers to either scroll up or scroll down. You can tap on the enter button or anywhere on the screen if you want to open a game page. So here we go I have tapped on request to and as you guys can see the steam page for this game has successfully launched. If you want to use the search feature you can go back to the home screen. Afterwards tap on the search button scroll back twice afterwards tap on keyboard and just search for the game that you want to search. So here I have tapped on Forza and I'll just go ahead and select Forza Horizon 5. Let's go back and right here is our game as you can see. Our search is also working so this is a proper Steam client which we can use to try out and test Steam games on our Android devices. So that's pretty amazing. Do let me know in the comment section down below which game should I test out in the simulator next. And if I do keep on seeing black screens then I'll bring out my tablet which has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor and this device will not get any black screen. So yeah this is really an amazing project. I definitely recommend you guys to try it out if you want to play Steam games on your Android device. That's going to be it for today's video though. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.